if I am going to introduce you to the cosmos at large, we're going to need to go on a little bit of a journey, but we're quarantined. So this is going to be a journey of the imagination. Yes, the imagination is the best spaceship, uh, the most high-tech spaceship that one can uh, journey in. See, bloop, 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 bloop. there it is. And uh, I will now be answering questions that have plagued nerds throughout the centuries. Questions like, what's planets? Who's some other planets? How did science? And etc. So, here we go. Let's blast off to outer space. You guys ready? Here we go. Oh my God, here we go. You guys. That's the sound of a spaceship taking off. Oh my gosh, can you guys believe the production value? And we're ready. We're ready, you guys. Welcome to outer space. I'm so glad that, look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, can you guys believe it? It's just like, oh my gosh. There, that's turbulence in the spaceship. Okay, so here we are. And I am now going to give you a little tour of the planets, all right? So uh, I don't know if you guys know much about this, but uh, if you look over this way, you're going to be able to see the planet Mercury. Yes, it's fun, right? Okay, and if you look over that way, you're going to be able to see the planet Pluto. Sorry, uh, Pluto does not identify as a planet anymore. My apologies. But if you look over this way, you're going to be able to see the planet Uranus. If you look to your rear, you'll be able to see the planet Uranus. Right behind you is Uranus. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys, I can't do it. I, uh, I know that when a certain type of lady goes to outer space, she's expected to do a certain type of joke about a certain planet with a certain name. But, you know, I'm really just not that kind of a girl. You know, I knew this point would come along. Some science talk comes out all wrong And making crude jokes of the heavens isn't right For instance, certain planets having certain names That sound like other things impolite You see, we must approach Uranus reverently And I'll only touch upon Uranus gently I'll never tell a joke about Uranus. It's far too vast to even comprehend. I won't subject the masses to talk of all its gases. I'd hate to give a whiff of anything that might offend. Now there was once a time Uranus was unknown. But nowadays most folks might say it's famous. Ever since it made its debut, well, it's barely left our view. But I'll never tell a joke about Uranus. Now let me ask you guys something. Would you say Uranus interests you as a whole? Cause if so, I'd say go ahead, explore it. <laughs> they say it's cold and desolate, but perhaps you just have to finesse a bit. I mean, it's certainly not getting any warmer if we just ignore it. Now would you say that anyone's come across Uranus lately? I'll tell you right now, no And Who could blame us? <laughs> For everyone close is astounded by that ring of debris that surrounds it, and that's why no one goes anywhere near Uranus. Uranus is full of secrets, shh, so hard to know where to begin. What kind of probe could penetrate all the mysteries that lie within? And that's why I'll never tell a joke about Uranus. We don't need that kind of smut to entertain us. To pay it disrespect leaves that bad taste you'd expect. So I'll never tell a joke about Uranus. It's not a thing of beauty, but what's up there is our duty. So I'll never tell a joke about Uranus. Don't let my reverence be in doubt. I hope it never gets wiped out. I'll never, I'll never ever tell a joke about Uranus. And that is all I'm going to say on the subject. Thank you so much. Now, if any of you do have any more questions about Uranus, I hear that there are pictures all over the internet. So check that out.